Hi there, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to talk about how do you increase your investment returns, especially in stock market. And uh, this, all that I'm going to talk about is, has been written by this gentleman who, whose uh, picture uh, you could see on the screen, uh, William Bernstein. So it's, it's all written in his, in, in his book. And we shall talk about it. He's, he's actually given four pointers and we'll talk about uh, those four pointers and what exactly he's talking about and how do you, in his opinion, how do you increase your returns? That's what we're going to talk about today. Let me tell you, this is very, very critical for investors because he's giving tips and tricks on, on his uh, or, or tips and tricks that he himself uh, has employed and how, uh, you know, successfully he's employed, uh, uh, you know, and built up his portfolio. So we'll, we'll talk about all of that today. Uh, before we do that, please like my videos, please subscribe to my channel, uh, please smash that uh, notification bell so that you're informed every time I upload a new video. Please comment on my videos and also share my videos with people who you think would benefit from my research and from my videos. So let's dive in. Before we do that, as you know, I have uh, I have an ebook. It's on uh, my journey as an entrepreneur. So the book is titled Six Figure Corporate Job to Master Entrepreneur, where I've spoken about, uh, you know, the days uh, before I quit my job, you know, what kind of strategy I had. And after I quit my job, how I started my company, what were the challenges I faced and how I overcame those challenges. So you would find all of that in this book. Um, I quit my job back in 2010 uh, and you know, I, I actually put in uh, three worksheets to for you to gauge where you stand in terms of becoming an entrepreneur and you could score yourself and see where you stand. So the cool thing is I have scored myself in the book based on my mindset back in 2010 and you would find how much I scored there. Um, you will find my book on, the, on my website. The URL is flashing on the screen. I'll put that in the description. So once you click that link um, on, on my page, uh, on my website, you will have to put down your name and email address and the link to download the book will be emailed to your inbox. I hope you like the book. Please do give me a feedback on how you like the book. Now let's talk about the topic. First, who is William Bernstein? Let's try and understand uh, and establish this particular uh, uh, point before uh, 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 if you are not familiar with this gentleman. First, William Bernstein was born in 1948 and he's an American financial theorist. By professional training, he's a neurologist. So he's not um, someone who's, who's actually ventured into the financial world right from day one. So he was an, a new neurologist. So his research is in the field of modern uh, portfolio theory and he has published books for individual investors who wish to manage their own equity portfolios. One of his books, his first book, The Intelligent Asset Allocator, makes a great case on his belief that all equity selection strategies should be focused on allocating between asset classes. He's talking about asset classes rather than selecting individual stocks and bonds or from the timing of their sales. So that's what pretty, pretty much most, you know, um, short-term investors do. So he's talking about asset class. And it's in his second book, he talks, which is the four pillars of investing, uh, lessons for building a winning portfolio, is aimed at those less comfortable with statistical thought. It also puts asset class returns into long-term historical uh, perspective. So he extends his first book into his second book where he actually helps those who are not so familiar with the statistical analysis and all of that and yet talks more about asset class returns here at, to, to long-term historical perspective. So basically, uh, you know, it, it, it resonates a lot with what, you know, the kind of 
uh, investment strategies that Warren Buffett employs. And he even talks about, uh, even he talks about long-term strategies and asset classes. And of course, he talks about the business uh, uh, in, in, in particular. So now let's talk about, you know, what are those four points or four pillars that he's talking about, William Bernstein is talking about. So in his second book, Four Pillars of Investment Lessons for Building a Winning Portfolio, uh, he talks more in detail on how investors can build a solid portfolio without financial advisors by learning the four pillars of investment. So he's, he's pretty much asking you not to go to the fund managers. So the four portfolios are these, knowledge of investment theory. Now we'll go into a little more depth on these based on what, uh, what is it for, what, uh, what we as investors can take away. Second, understanding the investment history. Third, gain insights into investment psychology. And fourth, be aware of the investment business. So these are uh, great points. Now let's talk about, you know, how do you increase those returns based on those four uh, points that he made, four pillars that he, he talks, he's spoken about in the book. First, the risk and return balance. So he's again talking about the fact that when you go for higher risks, then the uh, returns are, um, you know, going to be higher. But if you if you uh, if you're going to compromise the risk, then obviously the return is likely to be lower. Hence, there's a balance that you have to strike. So he talks about long-term investment, just like what is what I said a minute ago. It is the performance of the entire portfolio that matters. It's not just one uh, portfolio, one stock. It's the uh, the entire portfolio. Uh, please excuse the V at the end of matters, the word matters. Investors need to learn how to mix different asset classes into an effective blend to help make help them make a successful investment. So he's talking about different asset classes. So, you know, whether it's stocks, bonds, or any other class, even crypto, he's talking about all of that. So he wants, to, wants you to have a proper mix so that you know, you don't have higher risk or you could hedge in some way, in some way. Investors shouldn't think about the market timing. Now, a lot of people, you know, say that I must, I must enter the market at this point in time and exit when it goes up. That may not always be uh, 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 the right um, strategy. So he, he keeps saying that, you know, market timing is very delusional. You could imagine that today you're entering the market and hoping that market would go up. What if it doesn't? Then you have to exit and you have to cut your loss and, uh, and exit the market. So don't think too much about the market timing. That's what he's trying to say. Yes, this is a great point. There is no evidence or theory that professional money managers or fund managers can choose winning stocks on a regular basis. They can probably to uh, some extent for some time, but not regularly. And that's been, you know, all of us have gone to fund managers to, to, who, and have asked them to manage our funds at a price. But you've seen that they made mistakes. So he's asking you to be the fund manager. So you do the research. An ideal portfolio is one that does not try to select individual stocks. He's talking about the, again, the mix uh, uh, the, the mix of different asset classes. Simple, simply investment is investing in an, a, simply invest in a, sorry, invest in index fund. Why index fund? Because in index fund, you could, act, you don't have to think too much about the individual stocks, the, the statistical performances, the financial performances. You are essentially, uh, investing in a fund and hence it will even out and hoping that the index fund will be a great mix of asset classes or if not asset classes at least a great mix of let's say stocks or bonds or whatever that is investor mix foreigner foreign precious uh, precious metal and value stocks in their portfolios so they should mix all of that 
in their portfolios. Look at long-standing information about financial market. Now, this is this is something that most most uh, investment gurus talk about. So you look at the long-standing performances of the not just the ten years performance or fifteen-year performance, the long-standing performances. That's where you would get a sense how well this particular fund will perform. It is important to understand behavioral finance in order to avoid the most common mistakes. Very, very true. The state of mind of the investors uh, influences their decision making. Correct? Because if you are looking, if you, if you want to make quick money and you want to play around, you want to speculate, then chances are that you would you would probably make money or even lose money. So, but if you if you are you know a, a, an investor who's um, who's going to wait and watch and, and stay there for the long term, you might the chances of you making more money is higher. So that's a state of mind that he talks about. It. Now he in the you know here he talks more about the psychology. Diversification indexing are the most reliable ways to get long term investment success. Be aware that conventional knowledge is usually wrong. So if if someone has told you that the, the tech product, the, the tech uh, uh, stocks will always go up, that may not be true. The uh, fast moving goods uh, stocks will always go up. That may not also be true. Bitcoin will always go up. It may not always be true. So conventional wisdom or knowledge may not always be correct. Do not participate in, in crowd behavior. FOMO, fear of missing out. Don't fall by fall to prey to that particular idea. If Elon Musk says that Dogecoin is great, that doesn't mean you should go and invest in Dogecoin. Recent performance has little to do with the future of a particular stock of trust. We've spoken about it. Avoid exciting investment like investing in entertainment you invest to protect and grow your principal that should be your objective how do you uh, grow your initial investment the principal amount and even warren buffett talk, talks about this make sure that short-term losses do not affect your long-term strategy absolutely correct understand that the overall performance of your investment portfolio is more important than any single piece so if if one piece is letting your overall portfolio down because it's it's the price is going down sell it off and invest some in something else so that your portfolio could grow that's what he's talking about brokerage fees mutual fund costs and taxes are all big drugs for investors financial portfolio therefore wise investors need to do their best to reduce all three of these so so He's essentially talking about you do your uh, research, you do your uh, due diligence, you have a mindset of, uh, of an investor, and that's how you make money for yourself. Magazines and newspapers appeal to sensationalism, and bad investors generally should ignore. Uh, the financial media. So he's not, he's again talking about the fancy marketing. You know, someone would come onto one of your social media channels and tell you that, hey, you invest in crypto, hey, you invest in that, this, this bond, that fund, that trust. You should avoid all of that. You should only look at how you could, um, you know, make, increase your wealth, increase your, uh, in, in your initial uh, principle. That's what. Uh, you should focus on purely by doing your own research and having a great mix of um, uh, of asset class uh, um, uh, and and also uh, thereby reducing the uh, risk. So that's that's his advice. So this is what he's written down in his book. I will put the uh, link to the book on Amazon for both the books in the description box below. Uh, go take a look at it. Uh, if you are looking to investing uh, or looking to purchase those books, you could do that uh, there. So the summary is is very simple. Do your own research. 
uh, do not fall uh, to the crowd behaviors or, or even newspapers, magazines and their marketing. And do not uh, fall into, um, you know, going to a, a fund manager to, to help manage your fund. Do your own research. See where the, uh, the business stands. And look at the long term. Look at their long term financial performances. And also uh, look at how you would very well mix or have a great mix of asset class in your portfolio. That's what you should look at. That's pretty much what he's talking about. I'll tell you, um, you know, um, uh, why other investors, uh, e even other investors like Warren Buffett, Warren Buffett made great state st statements uh, against cryptocurrencies. I'll put, uh, I did a video on that. I'll put uh, the link to that video on the card above. And he makes very similar uh, statements there. Uh, and you should, uh, you should, you should learn. You should, you should go take a look at that video as well. So that's it, guys. As you know, uh, my name is Saurabh Mukherjee. I'm a digital technology marketing leader with over 20 years of global experience. You would find my LinkedIn URL in the description box below. Go ahead and connect with me. I, I regularly consult uh, clients where I try and find solutions to their business marketing, investment, and technological uh, challenges. If you are looking to uh, engaging me as your uh, consultant, you could uh, drop me a line on LinkedIn after you connected with me, or you could drop me a line on the contact page of my website. I'll put the link to that uh, uh, contact page of my website in the description box below. Then we can jump into a conference call and see how we can work together. So, well, thank you very much uh, once again. So, before I go, please like my videos, please subscribe to my channel, please smash the notification bell. Please comment on my videos and please share my videos. So until my next video, please stay safe, stay healthy, and I shall see you soon. Bye-bye.